Hello, hello, and welcome. In today's class, we will talk about the possessive. We're going to see the possessive S and the independent possessive pronouns. Are you ready? Let's go. So for the possessive S, we have it with plural nouns and with singular nouns. Let's start with singular nouns. We use the possessive S with singular nouns by adding apostrophe S at the end of the noun in this way. For example, this is Steve's bike. I saw Cindy's parents yesterday. My father's car is red. With nouns ending in S, we can use both, the apostrophe or the apostrophe S. But personally, I would recommend just the apostrophe. The boss's attitude was tough. No. Chris' girlfriend is beautiful. <whistles> now let's see with regular plural nouns. With regular plural nouns, we use the possessive S by adding just the apostrophe at the end of the noun. For example, I found my parents' wedding photo. Wow! Or her friend's support made her feeling better. With irregular plural nouns, we use the possessive S by adding apostrophe S at the end of the noun. For example, this is the children's room. Or, these are the women's dresses. With the list of nouns possessing the same object, we mention the names and add apostrophe S at the end of the last noun. For example, Alex and Alice's school is far away. Now let's see the independent possessive pronouns. The independent possessive pronouns are used usually at the end of the sentence or close and it's not followed by a noun. This is why we call it independent, so it doesn't require a noun. And these are the independent possessive pronouns. I, mine, you, yours, he, his, she, hers, it, its, we, ours, they, theirs. For example, do you see that house? It's mine. Is it Emma's book? Yes, it's hers. These shoes aren't Steve's. These ones are his. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel and activate the bell. See you. Goodbye.